I'm Ms. Artastic, and today we're going to be using our favorite mark making mediums, whether it's wax crayon, oil pastel, paint, or felt marker, to create a beautiful crow and pumpkin friend artwork. So grab your favorite mark making mediums and let's make some art. We're gonna begin our crow and pumpkin friendship pair with the crow's feet. So just to give you a little bit of a background, we're gonna be putting the crow over up here on this side of the paper and then down towards the bottom on the right side. And of course, along here, we're going to be placing the pumpkin. We're gonna start off with the crow. So towards the top here, we're going to draw a triangle on an angle, so an upside down triangle, and that is for the crow's beak, and we're gonna add two nostrils in our crow's beak. Next, we're going to draw the head, so we're gonna start on one side of that beak, go up with some zigzag lines, add a little tuff at the top with some tiny zigzag lines, then reach around to the bottom. Now we're gonna draw two wings on either side. So you can add like two leaf shapes. For me, that's the same as a wing shape. And then we're gonna connect the tips of the wings because these wings are really folded over the side. So we're gonna connect them with some zigzag lines because this guy is all settled and fuzzy on top of the pumpkin. I just love when birds all puff up with their feathers, when they're all relaxed and they're happy. It's just super cute. Okay, we're gonna add some toes with some zigzag lines. So give your crow three crow toes. And of course, it needs some eyes. So on either side of the head, you can draw two circles and fill in all of the eyes except for a little white top. And that's just for the glare of light. Now if you want, you can add some wavy lines to add some crow texture and some straight or vertical lines in there and that's just gonna add some details on the wings. Because of, detour, because of course, details, they totally add some visual interest to our works. All right, my friends, we are ready to draw the pumpkin. So we're going to imagine that this crow sitting on the top, so the top of the pumpkin is gonna be around here and we'll have that stem coming up beside it, just to give you a little bit of a visual before we begin. All right, we're gonna draw a curved line at the top and another curved line on either side. This side, of course, is a little bit hidden and I'll leave a bit of a blank there at the bottom because I need to draw a long, elongated U below, okay? An elongated U. Now, I'm going to draw a letter C on either side here. So one's a backwards letter C and one is a proper letter C. And that's just gonna complete the sides of this pumpkin. I'm going to draw a face on my pumpkin, so that is why I did not bring these lines down. I might add a little bit of added detail or added length on these lines later, but I don't know where my face is going to go yet, so I wanna leave that option for later. Before I do the face, I'm gonna give this lovely pumpkin a very fabulous stem. So start off with an oval on an angle or on a diagonal, and bring two lines that sweep on in alongside that crow there. Now, we're gonna add a spiral line in the center of that top, but instead of doing a normal stem with some wood texture, we're gonna give polka dots to the stem because I decided that would look really cool just now. So instead of doing your normal go-to stem with wood texture, which is what I usually do, hey man, check out those polka dots, isn't that lovely? All right, let's give this pumpkin some eyes. So on either side of this blank area, we're gonna draw a circle. And those circles draw 
a larger circle. And of course, draw two smaller circles as well in those eyes. I can tell this is gonna be a super cute illustration already. And if anybody is doing an Inktober event, I mean, hey, isn't this perfect? Get out your mark makers, draw for a bit, check one off of that Inktober list. Okay, so filling in the eyes, taking your time as you fill in the details so that way it looks nice and neat because of course effective art has wonderful fine details where you can tell the artist has put in a lot of artist effort to create their work. Okay, I got my cute eyes. Now I'm just thinking to myself, what kind of a mouth could I have? Okay, so we're gonna design a mouth for this pumpkin. I'm going to do a, I think I'm going to do a nice wide happy looking mouth. And I'm gonna add a little U in each corner for the cheeks. And I think I'm gonna add just a little blush line on these eyes. So underneath each eye we can add an oval. Now, just to make sure that this is going to be bold and stands out, I'm going to go over that mouth line more than once. That way it's bold and beautiful. And I'm going to add a couple lines around the eyes just to ensure there's enough detail. Now that I know where my mouth is and my eyes, I can bring this line down just a little bit. I don't want to interrupt the face, so I'm only bringing it up and down a little bit stopping before I get into that face zone. Now, my pumpkin is ready to color. Well, I'm feeling fun and funky today for fall. So, I'm gonna be painting, but of course you grab whatever you want to be your mark maker, whether it's felt marker, oil pastel, if you wanna use paint, that's cool. If you wanna use wax crayon, that's also cool. You do you, so you grab your mark makers, I'll grab mine, and let's color some art.
And once you're done adding color to your beautiful pumpkin and crow artwork, your artwork is done. Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in every Tuesday evening for the premiere of the next episode and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. Teachers, find my creative, high-quality art resources in my TPT store, Ms. Artastic. Finally, you can receive free art worksheets for kids by joining my newsletter by simply clicking the first link in my video description. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.